Dan, we'll get on to what this result means for the club and the team. But first of all, how did you feel about the boys' performance today? Because they really worked their socks off out there. I've just said to them in there in the dressing room, I've been coaching now since I stopped playing almost 10 years ago. Um, that's probably up there with one of the proudest moments um, that I've had since becoming a coach. Yeah. Um, and it isn't, isn't about me whatsoever. It's all about those young men in there trying to carve a career. But I think what makes me so proud is that I know how magical it is when you, when you go on and you have a football career. I know how special that is in your life. So it's nights like that where not all of them, unfortunately, are going to get the opportunity to go on and, um, and have careers. But it's nice like, nights like this um, that they'll remember for the rest of their life. So that makes it so, so special because I know exactly how that feels. So we could come out here and talk about individual performances, but yeah. tonight it was really just about the team, everyone put in everything to get that result, didn't they? Well, this is it. You know, again, we, we, we try to emphasise that at the beginning of the game, that there's no way we were going to come through this game if we, if we weren't going to stick together. Um, every single round, the boys have got stronger um, as we've gone along. But tonight was, there was a big emphasis on effort and a big emphasis on hard work. And no matter what the scenario um, scenarios the game was going to throw up, I made sure that the boys understood that they needed to, to stay together. Another couple of goals for Oakham Chimes and I can't stop scoring at that, could he? Again, I'm so pleased for the kid. I mean, again, he's, he's, he's made his debut. Um, uh, he's had no airs and graces about that. He's not come back and allowed that to affect him in any way. He's such a humble kid. He's such a respectful kid. Um, and these are traits that we're trying to draw out of the boys. Um, and so that alone was special when he came back in after making his debut because, again, we make the boys understand that. They don't make their debuts on their own. It's a collective thing that we all try and achieve for them. Um, and then for him to come out tonight and, and add him to his debut, it's just it's wonderful for him and it's wonderful for all the players. Not sure you're aware, but your team have made history this evening by becoming the first Barnet youth team to reach the third round of the FA Youth Cup. How proud does that make you? I'm immensely proud, first and foremost, I'm immensely proud of all the work that's gone on in this academy and I'm not just talking about my time in the, in the past three years at this academy, I'm talking about all the coaches and all the players that have gone before us. We have got an incredible amount of talent in our first team that has been produced by wonderful staff at, at, at this football club and within this academy. So this game is probably dedicated to every single person that's put so much effort into this academy down the years um, and I think we should really really champion our academy tonight and be super proud of everyone that's involved in this football club um, because that result was, was for them. Now just looking forward just a small matter of a trip to Premier League ground in AFC Bournemouth you must be looking forward to it. We're absolutely delighted really to, to be going down there. Yes, Bournemouth for a Cat 3 Academy, but ultimately they're a Premier League football club. Um, so they're going to be a, a massive, massive challenge. But we talked about it in this tournament. Um, we've come up against teams that are in the lower leagues and that's had posed its own challenge. We face someone tonight in our own division. Um, so tonight we go down to Bournemouth. The, the boys are going to be familiar with it because they'll see it on the sky and match of the day. Um, so that's equally special. But we must remember it's another game that we want to go and win mm. now. Um, we don't just want to settle and be happy that we get an opportunity to play a Premier League club. We want to go to Bournemouth and we really want to put on a performance and we want to win a game. Perfect, well done then.